Okay, so I'm going to my first cubing competition tomorrow morning. I'm super excited because I was supposed to go last year, but obviously coronavirus messed everything up. And now there's finally one in Galway, Ireland. It's the first competition in Ireland in over a year. The events I'm going to be doing are two by two, three by three, four by four, pyraminx, and three by three, one handed. I'm most looking forward to two by two because that's my best event. But for the most part, my goal is just to have fun. So we're gonna be driving down today, staying in a hotel overnight, and then doing the competition in the morning because it starts at eight in the morning. I'm gonna be vlogging most of it. So yeah, hope you enjoy. All right, it is the morning. I just got a good night's sleep. Uh, we were watching the Lele Toy Show last night, so that was really fun. The tournament starts in about an hour. I'm so excited. Here are cubes. I can't open. There we go. Probably gonna get a bit of practice in before we go down. Oh, by the way, this is kind of my face reveal. So it was time for the first round, which is three by three semi-finals. This is my first ever official solve. I was really trying to focus on good look ahead and it was working pretty well. On the second solve, I got an 11.01. On the third solve, I got a 14 after messing up the last step. On the fourth solve, I got a 12.09. At this point, I secured a sub 13 average, which I was really happy about. But then this happened on the fifth solve. So I completed three by three. I got an 11.70 average, which is really good for me. I got 10.09, which is insane for me. Like I averaged like 12 to 13 and I got 11.70. So that's really good. A two by two is next. So I'm hoping I'll do well in that. And yeah, I'll see you then. So it was time for two by two, my favorite event. Two by two only had one round in this competition. So it all came down to these five solves. Unfortunately, the nerves got to me on the first solve and this happened. The next three solves were pretty good. I got a 3.27 on the second solve. And that was followed up by a 2.63. And the next solve, I got a 2.27, and this is actually the fastest solve in the competition. So it came down to the fifth and last solve, and I actually had a really good chance of getting first place. All I needed was a 4.32 or less to be Patrick Ponce's 3.41 average. Oh my god, no way. No way. Oh, so what did I do wrong? I did have to 2 by 2 I was actually doing well as well. That's the worst bit. I got low 3 and 2 mid 2s. I got 2 by 2 7, which isn't bad. So for the first one, I completely misinspected and I thought I got a really good EG, but I didn't. So I just did the completely wrong algorithm and DNF'd. And then my last solve, I didn't do the layer right. So at least I got 2.27, single. I'm pretty happy with that. 
yeah that was a bit of a disaster anyway pyramix is next and patrick Pons was actually judging me for this one which was really cool for those who don't know patrick is one of the best speed cubers in the world and he's even a former 3x3 world record holder i only know a really basic method for pyramix and my technique isn't the best but i decided to do it anyway because i like short events so in my first pyramix solve i got a nine and on the second solve, I got an 8. And in the next solve, I got a 10, just barely. The fourth solve was a little better, I got a 7.35. Those four solves were pretty average for me, but then this happened on the fifth solve. Okay, Patrick Ponce just said nice to myself. I mean, that's pretty cool. Okay, so pyramid is done and I actually did pretty well, surprisingly, because like I don't practice pyramids, but I came eighth, I got an 8.38. And yeah, I'm, like, I'm pretty happy with that. The sub five at the end was pretty lucky, but uh, I'll take it. I thought pyramids would be my worst event, but it was actually my best event so far anyway. So three by three, one handed is next. So I'm looking forward to that. So it was one handed time. This was my worst event, but I decided to do it just for fun. So the first off was pretty bad. But then the second self came and I was actually doing really well. I was about to get a sub 30, which I've never gotten at home before. My F2L was really fast, but then the PLL came. Um, I did the wrong U perm. If I had just done the right U perm, then I would have got a sub 30. But I still got a 32, which was really good for me. The rest of the solves were pretty average. On the third solve, I got a 35. Not bad. Followed by a 33. And finally, a 37. All in all, the average was pretty good for me. So next was 4x4. Four four. And at home, I usually average around 1 minute and 5 seconds, so my goal for the competition was to get at least one sub minute solve. So in my first solve, and my first official 4x4 solve, this happened. The second solve was one minute and one second. But then on the third solve, something weird happened. Wait, wait. You get a resolve. Oh. Extra solve. So apparently when I was starting the timer, I accidentally stopped it again in 0 0.6 seconds. Because it wasn't a timer malfunction, normally I would get a DNF, but because I was a new competitor, I was given a resolve. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the actual third solve was pretty average. I got a one minute flat. Not bad. On the fourth solve, I got a 59. And then finally, I got a 51 second solve, which I was really happy about. Nice. So I just did one handed and four by four. Uh, for one handed, I did all right. You know, like I got, uh, I think a mid 30, I think like 35 second average, uh, which isn't too bad. You know, it's like, it's pretty good for me considering I only like started doing it a week ago. So that's pretty good. And for four by four, I did surprisingly really well. I got sub one out of five and I haven't done that in a while. So that's, yeah, that's really good for me. So yeah, somehow made the final for 4x4, but uh, I'll take it. 
After just about qualifying, it was time for the 4x4 finals. And in the first self, I somehow got another 49. And this one actually beat my personal best at home. On the second self, I got a 1 minute and 8 seconds. In the next self, I got a 52. Then in the 4th self, I got a 58. And finally, in the 5th self, I got a 54. I ended up with a 55 second average, which was amazing for me. I was really happy about it. I had about a 2 hour break until my next event. And during those 2 hours, I was just practicing 3x3. Because the next event was the 3x3 finals. The practice seemed to pay off because on the first solve, this happened. <laughs> yeah, I got a sub 10 single and going into this competition, I did not expect that at all. During the inspection of my second self, Bruno Vervoet from Belgium, who was at one of the tables behind me, got a national record of 6.12. So big congrats to him. For my second solve, my luck didn't run out and I got a 10.75. And in the third solve, I got yet another 10. You can see in my face how confused I am at how I just got three sub 11s in a row. In the fourth solve, I finally got a time above 11 seconds. So I already secured a really good average, but then on the final solve of the day, I got yet another sub 11. And with that, it was time to go home. All right, we are back home. So I firstly want to talk about the four by four and three by three finals, because I haven't talked about them yet. Four by four, I actually did really good in which like really surprised me. So I got another 49, which is insane for me because I only got 49 like twice in my life. And one of them was in the competition earlier. I came 15th in the finals, which I'm pretty happy about. Okay, let's talk about three by three finals. Oh my God. I got a nine, a 10, a 10, 11 and a 10. Like what? I averaged like 12 to 13, like what? what is going on? I think it's just that I was practicing like while I was waiting for my turn, I've been practicing the this stupid cube for like maybe two hours straight. Like I got a sub 10, even at home, I got a sub 10 maybe every 20 to 25 solves. I came ninth in the three by three finals, which I'm really happy about. So yeah, that's the end of the vlog. If you like the vlog, then let me know in the comments. Let me know if you want to do me, bro. Let me know if you want to see me do more videos like this. So yeah, that's it for my first vlog, my first competition, my face reveal. Well, that's a lot of things. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.